Hi YouTube, this is Jake Benson Meyer Tube here, and I have a review for you of the Samsung Impression. I got this phone because I had my old phone, the Pantech Link, and I was in photo class, and in the darkroom, I dropped it in the developer. So, I got this phone. I actually got this on eBay for $100. So let's go over the outside. On the front, we have the call, back, and end keys. And this also, the end key is also the power button. On this side, we have a uh, volume rocker and a multitasking button. On the back, we have a 3 megapixel camera. And on this side, we have a lock key and camera button. Um, the lock key is really hard to press because if you can see that it's flush with the bevel thing so you have to kind of get your finger in there and really press it so let's turn it on while it's going on I'll show you a size comparison so here's the iPod touch and so height wise so the bottoms are lined up, and so the iPod Touch is a little taller, but see the iPod Touch has a case on it, and the phone doesn't, and the phone is still fatter. So, and the screen's a little smaller on the phone, and yeah, but if you do have an iPod Touch, it's probably a, a good size comparison. But yeah, alright, so... Um, so yeah, so there's pretty much two ways to unlock the phone. If you don't want to mess with this button because it's too hard to press, you can just slide the phone open and slide it shut, and then it unlocks. But to relock it, you do have to press that. To unlock it, you can hold that, and it'll unlock. So, um, down here, the software keys, we have a menu, contacts, and dial. The dial pad is just your normal, you can just dial whoever, you can send a message, uh, call or save them, and so yeah. Um, your pictures, you can click on that button, and see, you can look for the picture, or first, you can uh, you can decide if you want 3 megapixel, you can choose your quality, I have it set to the best. Then you can choose what kind you can have, you can also have a, um, a camcorder, so you can have video or video share. So to take a picture, you just um, put it to what, you're, what you want the picture to be of, and then you just press the shutter button, and then... It's there. And see, you can see I uh, just took a picture of the same thing that you're seeing. And then you can go back. And then if you click this button, the review button, you can look back at your pictures and you can just scroll through them. I'm not going to show you all my pictures. Um, on the side is Samsung's TouchWiz interface. You click that and you can look through all these widgets. You All you have to do, you can drag them out and you can cover stuff up with them. Some of them do something when you click them in the dock. Uh, you can tap them and they'll do, they'll do something. Some of them don't, like this one does not, the clocks. But um, one that does do something, like um, if you click the, the Bluetooth one. Here, let me get a little closer. If you hit the Bluetooth one, it'll bring you to the Bluetooth. So that's nice. I oh, didn't want to do that. Alright, so now let's go to the menu. In the menu, we have AT&T Music, AT&T GPS, Yellow Pages, Cellular Video, Messaging, Address Book, Media Mall, Media Net, Games and Apps, My Stuff, Tools, Settings. So, um, if we go to Messaging, we have our Create a Message, Inbox, Settings, or uh, Sent, Outbox, drafts, and all that stuff. Um, if we go to inbox, you see it just has, it just keeps all your me messages that people send to you. If you go to sent, it's just whatever you sent. 
Um, it also has um, IM, so if you click that, it has support for AIM, Windows Live, and Yahoo. Then we also have, wait, where, oh, back in messaging, we have mobile email. I'm not going to launch it because it's a Java app and it takes a little while, but it doesn't have support for Gmail, so it's not the best email client. Like, you could just go online using the phone's browser and do that. Um, what else? Um, tools, it has your basic tools. Um, I've heard of a lot of complaints about this phone, about a lot of problems that people have had. I haven't had any yet. Um, so, also what I was going to tell you is if you go and make a new message, there's four ways of entering text. You can tap, and you have the T9 the like old-fashioned phone way or if you click this you see it says keyboard you can click it click handwriting then you can write something like I didn't mean to do that let's try another one. just M let's say U it's not the very it's not the most accurate also I'm trying to do this on camera N there we go M um, there's also if you turn it sideways you have your on-screen QWERTY and if you slide it up, my favorite way of entering text is using the full hardware QWERTY. Um, uh, no, I do not want to save it to drafts. On the QWERTY, you have your you have a quick messaging button, and if you click that, it just brings you right to a new message, which is nice. I like using that. You can just enter text from there. Um, also, if you're on the home screen and you hit the space button and hold that, it'll change the phone to a normal profile. And if you hold it again, it'll put it on silent profile. Um, so when I got this phone, um, I wanted to be careful with it so I didn't drop it again. So I ordered a case. It came with a screen protector since I got it from eBay. The person gave me screen protectors, which was nice. So online, from a website run by Yahoo, it's called like only impression there's a lot of different types of phones like there's like only solstice a bunch of different ones i ordered a case and so i got it and this is the case but this is the wrong case i'll open it up and let you guys see that there's no way this phone is going to fit in here and the camera's right there and here the camera's holes here this case was made for the Samsung Solstice. And I was a little disappointed, so I emailed the company, and they actually just emailed back today and told me that if I want to get a new one, um, I'd have to call them, so I'm going to do that. But in the meantime, I got a case for my phone. Alright, so here's the package. Um, I got this package from Wednesday Wireless. And I'm just covering my fingers here because I don't want you to see my address. Um, so yeah, let's turn it over. And let's open it. So I got this case. Looks like this is the right one. If you can't tell by the video, this is an orange case. And it has like a soft rubber refill. So... Let's see if my phone fits. Put that on. Then it works. Oh, perfect. And it slides up. Alright, well this has been my review on the Samsung Solstice. What number is it? It is Samsung Solstice. A eight seven seven. So thanks for watching. Um, comment, rate, subscribe. Um, if you have any specific questions about this phone, leave com leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching. <laughs>